Hey guys, um, this is going to be a very, very, very hard video to make. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not going to tolerate any, any bad comments. If I get any bad or disrespectful comments, you will be blocked instantly. This is probably the hardest video I have ever made in my entire life. So, I'm going to get kind of emotional because it's an emotional topic. Just a warning. But, um... So, Logan and I have called it quits. We're splitting up. Um, mutual decision. He's in the other room letting me make a video. Um... I mean, I saw it coming, we both saw it coming, we both have known, but at the same time, we didn't think that it was going to happen. Like, it was a really hard conversation to make, uh, to have, uh, kind of, uh, I'm not going to go into detail about why, uh, I mean, I still love him, he still loves me, we just can't be together. Uh, we're two different people, shit's happened in our relationship that's kind of driven a wedge and made it so that we just we're going through the motions for a long time now quite some time uh, and it just it's not fair to either of us to keep acting like everything is fine because it's not and uh, he deserves to be able to be happy with somebody more like him and I deserve to be happy with somebody more like me uh, I hate to say it, I really do, but the lolcow drama stress had a, a big part to play in it. It's not all of them, but uh, a big, big chunk, yeah, because uh, he does not like stress. He he uh, didn't want anything to do with it. Uh, always having to prove your relationship to somebody, like, we are still together. We still love each other. I'm not forcing him to be with me. Just always having to justify ourselves. It's just, it got really old for both of us. And I, I'm tired of taking the fall for everything he does or Dorian does. It's all on my shoulders, you know? Oh, Logan gained weight. It's Raven's fault. Logan cut his hair. It's Raven's fault. Logan... You know, he's at work at this job, it's Raven's fault. Logan looks tired and haggard, it's Raven's fault. Raven sucked his will to live away. It just these assumptions always made about our marriage and like what part I had to play in our marriage. It just you don't think it gets to you, you know, but in the end it does. Like it it gets inside your head and you always 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 know that people are watching every fucking move you make and you have always got to justify everything everything and it just it just gets to you i got i i've been so sick of it i am so tired of taking the blame for everything around me like i just couldn't do it anymore i can't do it uh he didn't want it i can't do it and other things as well and uh Oh, sorry. Uh, so, uh, like, we would we sleep apart. His snoring. We don't really do much together. He's tired and the snoring, and then just we started living quite separate lives. And uh, I've become bigger online. I've got like this this pretty huge following, and so that was taking up a lot of my time. And he's working a lot, and we just kind of drifting apart and it got to be where we got more used to being apart than we did together and it's just bits and pieces bits and pieces of things adding up all across the board and uh he was pretty depressed today and uh he was like well you know i don't know what to do and i said i don't know what to do he asked me what i wanted to do and i said I don't know, uh, there's a lot of stuff I can't, I just can't get over, I can't deal with, and, uh, I don't think this is, this is fair, I think we're just, we're used to each other, we're going through the motions, he agreed, 
and we're like one of those couples that we both love each other dearly, but we can't make it work. It's not going to work. And so we mutually decided to call it quits. And uh, I know a lot of people on my profile have been confused. And this has been going on for a while. It's not just just today. Uh, today we had like the official talk, which is why today is is really hard. But this has been has been happening. And uh, so the plan is, I'm still going to go to America. He's going to stay here. And. Uh, we're going to go our separate ways and uh, stay friends if possible because there's the love there, just not in love, I guess. Uh, that's hard to explain. Um, it's never good to see a marriage ending. It's never good to be part. And it's something that should have never happened. Like, I thought we were going to love each other forever and be together forever. And so did he, like we, we kind of got settled in with the fact that we were always going to be together. We would never split, could never see it happening. And like I told him there, there were a lot of signs there, but I wanted it so bad. I just wanted to be happy for once. So I ignored it. Like I, I just, I, I made excuses for things that happened. And I was like, no, he hasn't cheated on me. He hasn't watched porn behind my back. So he hasn't beat me. Anything else I can deal with, it's fine. And I I made excuses and made excuses and made excuses when I shouldn't have. And I'm like, he doesn't know how to be in a relationship. I'll give him time to learn, which I shouldn't have had to do. And uh, I don't know. Uh, we haven't really been like as we should be since probably I, I lost the ectopic, um, is what we, we figured because of the fact that he's not good with stress. So, um, when I lost the twins, he was, he was great. He was there for me. Everything was fine. And then after that, uh, you know, I, um, I lost the next baby and, it was like he shut himself off. He, he started just closing himself off to every bit of stress that was in his life. And a uh, big, big stress at the time was all the bullying that I was getting from being with him. It was the, the low cow shit, the kiwi farmer shit, the local shit, the whole pedophile shit. Like, he just checked, he checked out. And uh, I don't blame him. I mean, it's, it, it wasn't a nice life to live. It's still not a nice life to live because I still have to go do that. I mean, I'm like putting this here. Oh, they're gonna have a field day with this. They're gonna run with it. Just be like, that's the pedophile fucking deserve. She fucking, I was waiting for the day. I can't believe he stayed with her that long. Oh my god, she did on her. They're gonna make up all kinds of bullshit. None of that is true. It was just sometimes marriage is failed. This is the only time in my life it's been a mutual sitting down talking with you. Know, I love you. But I can't be with you. This isn't gonna work. I have never gone through this before, so this is this is hard. It's really hard, and it's gonna be hard from here on out. I don't really know how to how to do any of this stuff. I mean, I I'm, I'm so lost, and uh, I don't really know how to how this would be. Um, I just. I don't know, in the end, that's what we needed. We both needed it. I mean, this is the love point now, and we're going to get past this, and he'll be happy, and I'll be happy, and we'll look back at this, and it, I just feel like we, we set each other free. That's what we've done. We've set each other free. And I'm just glad that he was mature enough to talk to me about it, and we could reach this agreement friendly. And, uh, I don't have to justify myself anymore. I don't have to belittle myself and go out there and be like, he's with me because he loves me. I should never have to do that. Like, I know he was with me because he loves me. But I'm so tired of having my relationship online. Like, he's only with her because she did this and she did this and she did this and she did that. And it's like, they just put me in a loop, you know? I hope they're happy because they are going to bring me to our marriage, destroy my marriage, so.
Like if you want it, that's what I got. But uh Oddwitch to um, better things, a healthier life, I guess. Because uh, it's not healthy, not to be happy, and uh, it's not fair. It's not fair on the people in the relationship, all the pressure to be together, the pressure to explain yourself, the pressure knowing everything you do, everything you say is going to be dissected and talked about. It's just, it's no way to live a life, you know. I mean, I've been with him for over five years, about five and a half years, and the entire time we've never had a moment of peace, not once, the entire time, everything's been watched, and talked about, and judged, and it's been really hard, it's been really, really hard, and uh, this is going to be hard to post, because I know, I know the bullshit I'm going to get for it, uh, uh, that's what I was saying. I, I'm gonna tolerate any stupid comments. Uh, I know people are gonna be celebrating. People are gonna try to get with him. He still doesn't like sluts. He's still not gonna get with you. So you can try all you want. You're not gonna get anywhere with him. Uh, I know people are gonna try it. He's just disrespectful. He told me that as well. Like, like you're not gonna get anywhere with him. Uh, but uh, yeah. So I'm just I'm gonna try to raise. Give him enough money to go to the state this year and try to see where we can start our new lives. Go to some friends, uh, take a trip, and uh, try to get a divorce handled, hopefully, before I leave, so that I can come over there free, and he can be people free. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know. My nose is, like, whistling, but, uh, I don't know. Well, Thanks for listening, I guess. Um, maybe this clears up some stuff that's been going on online. Uh, if not, then I'll, I'm not going to explain it anymore. I don't want to revisit this. I wanted to get this up now before too much time passed by because uh, I don't want to. I don't want to keep having to go through this. You know, you know, I feel right now this just final goodbye and it's a uh, Beautiful, I know it is. Uh, and the best thing on it hurts a lot. And it's really hard. And I don't, I don't know, I don't really know what I expect from this next one. I'm gonna have because a lot of people are confused about a lot of stuff. And I even feel like I'm just gonna be like every single person out here to know is that I have a best friend who's ready to call a cut. Uh, and I love you, Jill. And I feel like you're always in here and I'll be whatever, I don't need to justify it, I don't need to justify anything anymore, my life is my life, and I'm, I'm sick of having to answer to uh, an anonymous group of bullies for every move I make, you know, I, I'm fucking over it, I'm just so over it, and at the very least, he is free, he can live his life, and he won't have to worry about everything he does, and his hair, and his clothes, and his weight, or whatever, and be torn apart online because people hate me. He was dragged down with me just because he was with me. And that's not fair to him. Like, he can live his life now and not have to worry about being talked about or being looked at or get stupid or being called out in his neighborhood when he's about to turn 22. You know, maybe he can save his own life if he doesn't worry anymore. And I'm, I'm happy for him because he doesn't deserve that. He didn't deserve to be talked about like he was some idiotic child who didn't know what he wanted in life, you know? Um, because he knew what he wanted, and what he wanted was me. It just shit happens, and life happens, and sometimes you're strong and sometimes you're not. And I think that what we're doing here is strong because it's easy to just step back and and keep lying to yourself and just stay with what you're used to. It's it's easy to do that, but it's hard to step and look at your life and say this isn't right, this isn't fair, or it is a change. That's the hard part. This is this is the hard that uh the only can't wait. So uh I'm just gonna cut this and upload it and 
embrace myself. Um, like, at least I get the way I <laughs> have this stupid roundabout way. I'm posting it in the way I kind of saw that video will be coming. Um, I'll see if he wants to do the dry yarn hot sun or whatever. And you guys will uh, keep this in mind when I ask for what he wants for this prize. Um, Otherwise, I'm going to be in there for a lot of stuff. So, uh, just please understand that if the stuff will cut down to really very tight and stupid, and uh, I'll be just patient with you, I guess. Um, and I'll talk to you guys on the next video soon.